Hi, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today we're going to talk about how you can not get banned by sending bulk SMS inside high level. Let's dive in. Okay, so a big problem that people in my community and I guess high level users worldwide are experiencing if they're working with big clients and they're doing stuff like database reactivation or sending SMSs to clients fresh leads and they don't wanna, they don't want SMS, then what happens is a lot of these numbers can be burned because of spam filters, which means if people are saying reply with stop and the, the, the replies are over a certain threshold, then your number gets burnt and shut down and you can't run it again for that particular company. And it's a big, big problem. We're working with clients and our students are working with clients with 1 million, 2 million records. So it's a really big problem if we're sending out and we're looking to monetize that, that those databases by sending bulk SMS out. It's a really, really big problem. The whole business model falls on its butt. But we figured out a really, really clever way around this. I'm gonna pass you over to Jamie, who we call Mr. AI in our world and our community. He's just brilliant and he's come up with a, a hack. Without further ado, I'm just gonna pass you over to him. It's brilliant and it's gonna save you guys a lot of time, pain and effort. And I'm giving it away free for you today. Enjoy. The setup for this can actually work in so many other different areas with the AI. And we are going to talk specifically about um, the opt-out rates, but it's just this methodology I want you to think about because you probably have a few light bulb moments of extra things you want your AI to do. So it all starts with a word. You need to choose an unusual word which conversationally makes sense and is a rare word to use, like whoop, splendid, delete, which is what we're using for the SMS opt-out. Superb if you want to be extra British. Hmm. Just think of like, you can even use company names as that weird, unique keyword. And then what you want to think about is what action do you want to, you know, take place when this word is mentioned either by the lead or by the AI. So for example, if we chose the word delete and we want the action, we want it to end the conversation or we could also have the action schedule a call back or send a notification. And then the last piece of the puzzle is where does the trigger for this word, like where does it take place? Is it going to be inside of Zapier or go high level to basically complete that thing for you? So we want it so that um, when our leads respond with the word delete, um, quite simply, they get tagged as do not disturb. We don't send them any more messages. Um, and it keeps our number safe. So here we go. We'll use the word delete. I want the lead to not receive any further com communications and be tagged as DND, and the action will take place inside of Go High Level. S setting this up in Go High Level is very easy. You just choose the trigger customer replied, and all you're doing is adding a filter contains phrase delete. And then what we're doing is enabling um, DND and updating the opportunity to lost. Um, and the reason for this, I'm going to skip ahead a few slides, is because Twilio is looking for that word stop. So whenever any of your leads message that word stop, they automatically make it so your number can never send another message to them again. And then they basically give you a percentage and they, you might have had the emails yourself, but bit of a warning, you're encroaching across this one or 2% opt out rate. If it continues, we're going to shut your account down. That's what we're trying to avoid. What they're not checking for is that word delete. And it does the same objective. It stops you from sending out messages that people who do not want to receive any more messages and might be enraged enough to put in a formal complaint if you keep messaging them. So you're getting the same objective. You're just kind of going behind the, you know, the, the scene to avoid Twilio detecting, you know, what's known as a hard opt-out. You're just using a soft opt-out. So that's that's like um how it's set up. There is one additional thing which we're doing, which is adjusting the prompt. So in the prompt, or we have, let's see if we can expand that. Okay. In the FAQ section, what we're saying is 
If they ask where we got their details from, you must tell them. You made an inquiry by one of our introducers. If you no longer wish to speak with us, reply with the word delete. I can come here, even at the beginning of the conversation, and go, where did you get my details from? And the AI, within a second or so, will basically give me this phrase, delete. So if someone does not want you to message them again, they're going to respond to that word delete. If we hop back into go high level or the screenshot for go high level, customer replied with the word delete and they don't receive any more messages. To expand upon this idea and just move away from this um, high op, you know, um, reducing the high opt out rates, you can use key phrases in so many other ways as well. I mentioned you can also set stuff up inside of Zapier for key phrases. Only this time, we want it to check for when the AI says a certain word. Go high level is great. So if you're setting up an action, I'd always say um, it's you'd set up the action for how a lead responds in go high level. How an AI responds, you want to set it up inside Zapier. It's a big difference, if that makes sense. All you're doing is right at the bottom, so it has to be the last action inside of Zapier, otherwise you will not see this here, is paths. You want to choose the reply, chat GPT output. You want to have um, contains or does not contain, and then you want to have your keyword incorrect. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up a lot of additional options for you. So if someone replies with, for example, uh, a certain key, if the AI produces a certain keyword, so for example, we use the word goodbye and um, to end the conversation, what you can do is add a lead to a campaign as an action, remove them from um, further campaigns or get even send a lead to a compliant to a, a client. Um, to come back to here, I could say stop messaging me and the AI has responded with that word goodbye. What would happen? is we'd have a path. If the word goodbye um, exists, we're gonna add me to a campaign to remove me from any uh, additional messages. Thank you so much, Jamie. People, I hope you've enjoyed this. This is a very, very valuable tip, which as I said, is going to make a big difference to your SMS efforts, right? There's a lot of talk out there about robo voices and robo bots being um, banned and all that type of stuff, which is true, but they're never going to stop SMS, right? They just can't do it. People are allowed to SMS their database. We're using an AI bot to churn through those that database like a, a knife through hot butter, and we're turning those old leads and old um, buyers into sales again. It's a brilliant thing. It's just working so well. If you want to find out more about how to do this yourself, then we've got a free challenge. It's called the Prince Charming Challenge. It's on my YouTube channel. You'll find it in the description. You'll find it somewhere. Please do. It's good stuff. You'll enjoy. Speak soon.